Hey guys, what's up? So it is gross outside right now. It's like raining and just miserable. And so I'm not going out. So I thought I'd make another video. <laughs> yeah, I just uploaded the dance video. <sighs> Loud trucks going by, sorry. So I just uploaded the dance video. Um, I just repeated myself. And I used a lot of effects, and I know like some people don't like it, and I'm sorry those people that don't like it, but I like them. Like I think it adds excitement to it, and I spent enough money on the program, so I'm going to continue to use effects, so I'm sorry if you don't like it. I can't please everyone. Um, I'm going to try to like get better, you know, like... I don't know, I just put random effects where I think they look cool and just throw them all over the place. I will eventually get the hang of it. I know right now um, I'm a beginner, but I just I just got the program not too long ago, so. Alright, anyway, so I have to tell you about this book that I just started reading last night, and I'm about halfway into it. And normally, believe me, I wouldn't go nuts about a book. I'd think, like, oh, books are boring, but this book is really good. Um... It is called, what's it called, <laughs> Creation and Death, and it's by Nora Roberts, and she's writing as J.D. Robb. I guess that's her alter ego, and she's a number one New York Times bestselling author. I've never read any of her books, but my mom seems to like her, um, and this is how I stumbled upon this book. But anyways, this is like a murder, like, suspense, thriller book type thing. And I've never read one, and it's just, like, so, like, intriguing. Like, I couldn't put it down last night. Like, I was up until... Sorry, my nose is so itchy today. My nose... <laughs> I was up until... I was up until 1 last night reading, and I had to be up at 5 this morning, so that was not good. But anyways, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what it's about, because... Well, I haven't finished it, so if anyone has read it, do not ruin it for me, please. I will stop reading your comment. <laughs> I doubt anyone's even going to comment on this. But anyways, so, this, it's, it's about a murderer, and they call him the groom, because every time he kills a girl, he puts a ring on their ring finger, and his victims, they're all, they all look the same, they're brunettes in their late 20s, and he stalks them for a while, and he waits until, like, they're alone, and he kidnaps them. He drugs them, and he takes them to some, like, secluded place where no one can hear them because he doesn't, he likes for them to scream. I don't know why. That's He's just, like, sick and twisted. And he's an artist. Like, he carves stuff into them. They haven't really gone into detail about what he, what kind of, like, stuff he carves into them, if I even want to know. But he uses, like, crazy tools, like a scalpel and all this, like, scary nonsense. <laughs> and, anyways, he, after he's done his artwork, um, he... He'll cut their wrist and it lets them bleed out. And someone's calling me. Oh, it's no one. Okay, so he lets them bleed out. And from the time that he cuts their wrist and lets them, like, drain their blood or whatever, he times it. And when um, once they die, he carves that into them. Like, some of them will last, like, 20 hours or so. And he keeps on kidnapping them until, he, until like, someone lasts, like, long enough for him. I don't know why. It's, like, crazy. And then when he kills them, he brings them to, like, a public place. Like, he brought them to, I think, Central Park in New York. And he puts, like, a white mat down, like, a, I mean, a white cloth down and sets them up, like, artsy-like. It's just, it's crazy to me. And the detective in it, um, her name's like Detective Eve, and she's been after him for about 10 years. It's been going on. And, oh, by the way, this takes place in 2050, so it's in the future. I did not know this, and they're talking about, like, electronic cops and electronic detecti detectives. I don't know. It's all, like, crazy to me. Um, but it makes it really interesting. But anyway, so... 
she will she will talk and then like it'll go like to another sentence and it'll be him talking and he's watching the news and the detective Eve who's like the main one who really wants to like break this case um she's on the news and he's talking about how he's going to kidnap her and she's going to be like his best like art whatever um I don't know. I just think, wow, that's crazy. And this began in New York, and now he's back in New York. He went to, like, different states and different countries, and they're, like, determined to catch him. And I don't know. I'm about to, like, start reading this now. I'm probably going to, like, finish it tonight. I don't know. It's a little bit long. Let me see how many pages it is in case anyone's interested. It is 337 pages, so I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight, but it is really good. And this book, this book was expensive, $25.95, but I'm sure if anyone's interested, you could get it off Amazon. And who knows, maybe if I'm finished, like if anyone wants me to do like a giveaway, if you're interested, then I'll be glad to. But <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, get no comments and no views because I'm probably going to put something with a book in the title and everyone's going to be like, never mind, she's not dancing. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so just let me know if you're interested because this is a really good book. I can already tell. But if for some reason it gets bad or has a bad ending, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, bye.